he bought a four track task cam tape machine. It was like a little blue tape machine. It had four channels on it. He had to buy these special tapes, but they were regular cassette looking tapes, but there was like a type four tape and you could get four tracks of recording on there. And about, I wanna say about ninth grade, the CD burners came out. So we started selling CDs at school. Uh, we was printing out these little stickers and putting them on the CDs and had our faces on it. Eventually, Phil had an older sister that was dating a guy that had a little bit of money. He actually was working in the music industry. And so when he heard what we was doing, he was like, yo, you guys can come to my studio and work. And he had a digital recorder. He had all kind of stuff. And it kind of took us to the next level. So I graduated high school and went to Full Sail. And, um, you know, if anybody know what Full Sail is, an audio recording school. And, if, you know, that kind of just taught me the fundamentals. We started recording in a uh, closet. And from there, you know, it just started growing. It started growing, you know. We started, and we was already kind of popular. We from the Gwinnett, north side area. So we was already popular because people knew from school that we was recording. And from there, it just grew. You know, it just started growing. We was putting out little mixtapes 